Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to your Farming Simulator 15 map spotlight. This is... Today's map is a map you should recognize if you've played Farming Simulator 2013. Some of you might not have great memories of it in terms of gameplay. Um, others, like myself, really enjoyed this map. It is, of course, Hagenstadt. So, somebody has gone and um, ported Hagenstadt, converted Hagenstadt into 2015. Um, normally I'd have driven around the map for a few minutes beforehand, but one, the, P the um, mini map is working, and two, I already know Hagenstadt pretty well, so let's just see how well the conversion was, or how good the conversion was. No tire tracks there at the... Um, I'm not seeing any tire tracks, so it looks like um, they didn't install new shaders. Oh, they did. They did. My apologies. Um, I'm not quite sure how the new shaders work, obviously. So, we'll start off here at the main farm. Not a lot has changed, except, and I've only just noticed this, they have changed the silo to the uh, new multi-silo, which I think is mandatory now for maps so that is one change um, pretty much everything else is as it was your starting vehicles here are the Bure with a, an orange Brantner which made me realize you can change the color of the Brantners when you buy them they give you a weight with the Bure which is somehow inside the tractor an Agrostar a Hurleyman uh, your basic cedar and cultivator and a plow. I'm going to go down to this end of the map and I'm going to try not to accelerate too hard because the drifting wheel does enjoy drifting, of course. And of course I've, I've gone and started drifting. Um, the horseshoes have obviously been removed from the map. I don't know if something else has been put in place of them, but um, because this isn't 2013 anymore, uh, there are no horseshoes. Um, as far as I'm aware, and I haven't really looked around the map at all, like I said, I just kind of tabbed around to see what vehicles were where and what your starting vehicles were, so I already know this stuff. Um, as far as I'm aware, nothing really has been changed other than the starting vehicles for obvious reasons. Uh, we are going to start off down at... If I can get the pickup to turn. We're going to start off down over here at the, um, the cows. And have a look around here. So, this is going to be a drift. This thing just just doesn't like turning if you're going at any speed, I think. Or if you're not accelerating, it just decides, no, I'm going to continue straight on. Don't like that. Giants, fix the grip. So, down here at the cows, you have another aggro star. I'm going to try and drift around the aggro star. Um, not a big fan of giving you a weight with the aggro star down here seems a bit pointless um, but it's probably the less pointless of the two I'm going to show you so uh, where's the golf course from here up over this way I'm just gonna do some cross country over here do, do, do. don't mind me um, I had a look at the trees and it looks like they are the 2013 default trees so you won't be able to chop them down if they're in your way I'm sorry to tell you that. Now down here at the golf course, and there is a reason I'm at the golf course. Don't worry, I haven't gone insane. I've tapped around the vehicles. Down here at the golf course, there is another aggro star and another weight for reasons. This I don't like. There was. I don't mind you changing the XML of 2013 to give to put vehicles where there were vehicles. But changing it so that there are vehicles where there were golf carts is, is not as good. Um, where is another one? We're going to head now to the sheep. I'm trying to show you all the starting vehicles, where they are and all that stuff, so... It, instead of tabbing around, it's easier to just drive around. Well, it's easier to tab around, but then I'd have a, a two minute long video of just like, Hey, look, it's Hagenstead and look at the vehicles. Um, so yeah, last night I went, um, well, a few days ago for you, but last night for me I looked at, I've forgotten the name of the map, it was the map I liked, um, 
the German style map that was apparently in France and I've gone horribly wrong here. I'm just gonna just gonna drift my way over to the sheep. Um that was V1 I looked at. I actually looked today when I was going for new even more maps to look at and I haven't edited anything yet. Um the map that I looked at has actually been um made into a V2 already. So obviously there was a problem with the original map. Um, possibly something to do with the PDA or the, the minimap symbols. So uh, that has been changed. Um, I haven't looked at the the V2. I'm not going to look at you know iterative iterative versions of maps unless they have major differences indicated on the downloads page. So. If you're a map maker or a map author or whatever you want to be called, and you bring out a V2 of a map, if there are differences that I can, sh that you can show me on the download page, I will do uh, every version of your map if if needs be. Um, my aim is to do as many maps, map spotlights as I possibly can, as well as the let's play. So um, they've changed the. Have they changed the... Oh, no. Um, I can tell you exactly what's happening here. And to do so, I'm going to pause and switch to my log. So, in the log here you can see an error. Error is the stream. The stream has an invalid number of channels, so it's not going to render. So, we'll just go back into game. And I do like... <laughs> I do like my hotkey set for that. Um, so the stream is not going to render properly. You can see there is a kind of a ghost stream there. It's not going to render properly at all. Um, you might not see. It. Down here, at the cow, at uh, the sheep, you have another Hurleyman. And this one doesn't have a weight, which is better. I mean, I don't mind them giving you bonus tractors like they do on Westbridge Hills and kind of just extra vehicles for the sake of extra vehicles and in the vein of 2013 as well we've given you the worst vehicles in the game so seldom and some maps actively encourage that um, I kind of think Hagenstadt did encourage you to just sell the uh, terrible little are they Kramers? yeah the Kramer KL200 I think Hagenstadt did kind of passively encourage you to sell them but it wasn't a kind of there wasn't a sign anywhere. There was. I did have a Hagenstead edit that just said, "Hey, sell your old vehicles over here." Although, if I remember right, they didn't actually give you a Kramer, which was a bit odd. So, so far, it's kind of basic Hagenstead. Pretty much the same map with a few minor edits. Um, I do like how whoever converted the map. I don't have their name on hand. Um, did a relatively decent job. I'm just gonna have a look at the tree here. Yeah, these are 2013 trees. You can see there's no difference in colour between the uh, trunk and the limb here. Uh, 2015 trees do have a difference in colour, by the way. That's how you. That's how I can tell the difference. Um, so they didn't change the tip trigger there for the silo. They did change the silo, probably because they had to. Um, we're gonna go up to garden centre because I know that's where you buy the saplings for forestry and I have seen a comment on the download page on Alice 2015 that you can't do that so I am oops interested in discovering this now in terms of harvester because I forgot to mention it and I'm not really planning on going back to the farm um, in terms of harvester, you get the sample as well. So kind of every every map I've looked at so far, and I have one more map that I'm going to look at today before I start editing and uploading stuff. Um, every map I've looked at so far has given you kind of the basics, the same stuff you get in the normal maps. In the two that come with the game, um, or at least I think so. I still haven't looked at your home myself, and. Well, Driftmobile, you're going down. The Driftmobile has become stuck. 
So, over here at the garden center, and I'm going to use it, you get another aggro star. Uh, no wait again, unless it's falling down that ravine. Um, there we go. The aggro star is stuck, but I don't mind. That's not my driftmobile. And yes, I do just pull out alone to get the driftmobile every time. Because it's pretty much the fastest vehicle in the game. So, overall, it's kind of... A it's a good conversion, I forgot to check. No, you can't, because there's no shop symbol. So, if you want to do arable and animals on this map, you can. If you want to work in forestry, you can't, because you can't buy the saplings. And none of the trees on the map can be um, chopped down. So, that is kind of a, a minus one to this map. However, if you're not that pushed on forestry like me, you might enjoy it. I'm not going to keep this map. I'm going to move my headphones because I keep hitting them off my microphone. Um, if you're a fan of forestry, you'll like this map. If you're not too pushed by the forestry aspect and kind of don't mind it, don't mind not having it, you can use this map no problem at all, especially if you enjoyed Hagenstadt. Um, you won't really be missing out on that much, I suspect. Although, I would expect most people in 2015 to be doing a bit of forestry at least, just to try it. So, um, maybe this map is not the greatest as a general play map. Um, I, d I don't really think there's much else to say. I mean, it, it's Hagenstadt. It's been converted reasonably well. They've obviously decided... They've obviously put a small bit of time in. Um, obviously, uh, probably not enough. I mean, they've changed the... It's thought it was the farm shop and not the garden centre. However, the garden centre is not marked on the map. So, it would lead me to suspect that the garden center doesn't sell saplings anyway um, you know they've changed the map a bit upgraded it to 2015 marked where the fill po the cell points are I've got the uh, drifting wheel stuck so it, it'll, it shall forever live there um, yeah it's a pretty basic edit um, well pretty basic conversion it's it, you know, it's, it's Hagenstedt, what more can I say? Well done to whoever converted it. You didn't make an absolute <laughs> joke out of the map like that check map. Oh boy, that check map has already been deleted, by the way. Um, that is just no. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a good map. It's Hagenstedt. If you enjoyed Hagenstedt and aren't too bothered about the forestry aspects of 2015, um, go for it. So, that said, I'm going to leave you by saying, I have been Rainbow Dave, you have been watching Rainbow Dave Gaming, and this has been your Farming Simulator 15 Map Spotlight. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.